Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Let us go grab some nails for Father... over here. Nails for Teresa. Mer Can I just grab them all? Yeah, okay. I will eat. Why not? I talk to you, I guess. Here are those nails you wanted. What are you loitering Thanks. around here for? So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Henry, what anyway, are you mustn't keep for? you. I'll nails. be on the way. That sword is truly I, beautiful. I got the nails, Dad. Uh huh. Fine lass, eh? <laughs> okay, they're both now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. Hmm. Father does not approve. That's about how well my first fight in this game still went. have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Nobles. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. <laughs> Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. It's a good benefit. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay.
And then on cue, bad the things messenger. about to happen. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Okay, very bad things. Very, very bad things. That's a bit excessive. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Yeah, your dad's a badass. Got my sword. Yeah, that was a pretty bad day for Henry. And for his parents. You see your equipment with detailed inscriptions here. You can also change Henry's outfit. Yep, we got a sword, alright. Kuga sword. Melee weapon, 47 piercing, slashing, and blunt damage, it looks like. Alright, quest run. Alright, I will run.
Right to Talmberg. Oh, what in the... I, uh, where's my sword? There we go. Jeez! That dude massacred me! Did I just not run fast enough? Maybe I just didn't run fast enough. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be fighting a heavily armored warrior at this point in the game. Trot is the horse basics pace. Cap locks walk gives you Oh, walking is cap locks. Chance to recover. Okay. Cancer ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Gallop is the fastest gait, but will soon deplete horse's stamina. Okay. I can't win that, but I, I, gotta try. Yep. <laughs> Shit, dude. Mistakes were made. Yeah. Okay. I think we. I still want to do that. We engage really quickly. This is an intense game. Um, and then we just run for a horse. Can't let Teresa just sit there and die. I mean, I, we could, but... Shit, how do you got on a horse? Yeah, whatever you're saying. Whew, okay, that worked. It worked. chase sequence now? Oh, okay. You have to quickly get to someone who can help you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is fair. I got three heavily armed 
soldiers right behind me. Go faster! Yeah. <laughs> like, what is this? Left. Elmo gets to the left along the stream. Welcome to the game. Here's three dudes with boat. Fuck. What? Okay. Okay, sure. Oh my god. And I oh my god. <sighs> okay. You know that whole not saving thing whenever you can? Um unless you drink alcohol, that I can already see that being annoying. Okie dokie. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll chop me head too. Try this again. Yep. Left. Almo gets to the left along the stream. Get out of the water. Flee hey. to Talmberg. So I got let my horse recover. Jesus, man, like what? Flee to Talmberg. Can any of you peasants they tore help me? All right, well, this is our life now. Warn the others! They tore it scallet! Anytime now you can do the uh, sequence where there's like an army that helps me here. Please. Anytime now. Anytime. Thank goodness. Get 
your asses here! Hey! And loose! Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I know there's some crazy dude talking about Tartars. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Oh, what up, puppy? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, so, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. Mm -hmm. No one else can help us. Anyway, if you have, a, if you have an army, that could, thank that could help. Thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And. Get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
Seems like a nice enough lord. You discovered your bed! That's where it went! Man, I forgot I transported my bed all the way to this town. I was wondering why there was no bed inside my home at the blacksmith. It seemed kind of weird, right? But I guess, you know, the game designers were like, well, what's the point of having a bed if we're going to have this place burn to the ground in, like, an hour? Oh, that's right, because you need a bed to save your game! That's why you should put a bed in that... Anyway. I, I do not like that feature that you need to either drink or be in a bed to save a game. But I, I will accept it. He sent his apologies, sir. He can't come tomorrow. The soonest he can... Uh, I probably shouldn't be listening in on this. Okay, so we gotta talk to... That dude. And there's our bed, and there's a pretzel. What is the pretzel? That doesn't matter. Maybe it's the Lord, I don't know. Hello! You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all Why done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have it a good meal? Terrible, Sorrow what is, is terrible? easier to bear on a full stomach. Is that true? I heard about your father. Be a bit more careful. You I walked into me! why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Sir Divish has suffered his own share of woes, but he's a generous man and a good one. Okay. We'll take care of you until everything blows over. You risked your life to warn us, and we won't forget it. Um. Oh, okay. I learned kitchens. Ah, oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. <laughs> may God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. I will say that already I've been enjoying the characters. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. The voice acting probably helps that a lot, but, it, but yeah, I like him. Sir Robart seems like he's going to be a, a cool guy. Objective started. Eat. Hey, you don't got to tell me twice. Go to, to the courtyard lodge and sleep until morning. All right, we are starving. Okay. Can I just, like, eat out of a... Oh, roast duck. Yeah, all right, I'll take some roast duck. Let's get some yeah, bread roll. Sure. A little bit of cheese. And I guess we just go in here and eat it all. Bread roll. Eat. Okay. Lentil mash. Mm. There we go. And now we're good. I've learned about food. <laughs> so this mm. is what food is. I'm just gonna take some more for later. I wonder if it spoils. I would assume it does in a game like this that makes you sleep to save and makes you eat in the first place. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and we can eat roast duck forever. Just take all that, take the cheese. They are very generous to give us this bounty of food. Oh geez, okay, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. 
Uh, sir, I, I don't want to tell you how to use a table and a bench. So I'm not going to. Hello. Please tell me what happened at Scallops. I have kin there. It's not good, man. Is this my bed? If you are tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Try that one again. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Sit on it. Launch sleep. <laughs> Launching sleep in five, four, three, two, one. Sleep. How long do I sleep? That's a good question. So we'll need to eat again, I guess. Uh, this icon is circled, so that's, I'm assuming, dawn. And then this is going to be dusk. Right? Let's say six? Eleven hours? Ten hours? Eleven hours? Sure. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Whoa! Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Uh, it's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But, to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Thank you. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Sure. Well, I uh, started, I don't know, a couple years ago. I went to the tavern and there was this wonderful lady. Your name is Bianca. Uh, okay. Tell the story. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. That's true. Uh, um... y yeah. I went just to the talk. to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzig. I see no reason to do the other things. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. 
If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. Yeah. But Speech. Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I mean, can we fail these other two? So far we've had success just talking, so... I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. Did he really? I didn't see that part. I saw Deutsch trying to defend himself. The man who'd mocked King Wenceslas as a drunkard and praised Sigismund now stood facing his soldiers with nothing but a pitchfork, trying to protect his wife and son. It was hopeless. He slaughtered them all. That's so sad. I ran it to the is. castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started preparing for siege. No doubt you're right. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. That's me. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although, in comparison to the horrors you went through... I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and... All of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. Holy crap. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg, 
After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city. Um, there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Your best there years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Oh, that's an interesting night. I don't think his father would say that. Henry, wake up. Oh, hey. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. All right, I'm up. Let's do this. Via the gateway stairs. Gateway stairs, okay. Take the torch. Oh, take the torch from the table. Got it. If you need a light at night, use your torch by holding I? Is that what that was? No. Holding what is that key? I don't know what that key is. Oh whatever. This is the gateway. There we go. Not that I feel quite hungry. Fight, but if I have to choose a place for one, then right here behind solid walls is it. True enough. Listen up. If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Oh boy. All right. Let's, uh, can we eat some more of that food? Hey, you Beautiful. men down there, tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? Interesting. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, <laughs> including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who goes there? Lucius! 
Lucifer and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Wait. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will Are you, you do Are you sure? Then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I've seen you grow your thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. Oh, that's cool. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? I guess they don't talk much here. What is it? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I have. <laughs> I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. All right, I uh, guess I'll just stand here. Okay. 
this literally just standing still? Oh, there we go. I was about to be like, well, well that's the episode, like I guess. Sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time, press T instead of long, you wait. Watch out though, tiredness and hunger grow even during time skip. Okay. Uh, start. Did I wait long enough? Got it. All right. Go to the battlements of the outer bailey. Is it the army? Already? Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. <laughs> the efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish, I will relay your words to the king in the hope 
he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. I guess he said the right things. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Probably gonna kill that guy at some point in this video game. Bury your loved ones in Scales, talk to Sir Robard, get a horse. Well, for right now, I think that's gonna. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode, everybody. So, thank you for watching. That is very not cool. Um, I will see you all in the next episode, everybody. Thanks. Take care.